Okay, hello, uh, welcome back. Uh, it's been a little bit longer than I wanted uh, since the last video, um, but I wanted to wait till I uh, got a windscreen for the microphone. I'm hoping that helps with the clicking sounds. And I also was able to find another keyboard here uh, at work, so if this is a little bit better, let me know and I'll try to make sure to record here. Uh, if not, um, sorry guys, just give me suggestions as to how to make this better and uh, the clicking less annoying and we'll work on it. So um, at this point you can use Emacs, you can use buffers, we're doing some customizations. So kind of the, the next and last really fundamental thing are windows. So uh, let's get started. Let's uh, bring up Emacs and make this much bigger here. Um, and so the nice thing is, yes, you can have multiple buffers, meaning you can mul edit multiple files at a time, but you can also have multiple windows. But a window in Emacs is not like a window in your window manager. It's, it's a pain in, in Emacs. So what we can do is we can split our screen into windows. Actually, I think there's a menu here with one of them, but uh, uh, we're, well, we shouldn't use that, which is the keyboard anyway. So Control X two splits the window uh, like this into an upper and lower and control X one goes back to one window it closes all the other windows uh, control X three uh, splits it um, in this way splits it uh, side to side and um, we can switch between windows by using control X O to go to the other window and as you can see here make the font a little bigger uh, this now we have both of these windows are the same document or the same buffer but if we wanted to we could go and let's load up I know it's uh, being covered by the text but let's load up init.l here and so now we've got init.l in one window so one buffer in this window one buffer in this window let's split this one let's go to the other window so now notice each time to control XO it moves to the next window let's bring up the readme file um, yep that's it there um, and that's pretty much it so using buffers and windows together um, really 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 powerful so um, this is most of what I do in terms of window management uh, control X2 to split it um, into upper and lower control X3 to split it side to side I set up the windows that I like and um, then switch between them yeah but there are a few other things that you might want to know about um, one is I said you can get go back to one window by typing control X1 so now I'm in this window here with um, init.el if I do control X1 here it'll close all of the other windows on the other hand if I do control X0 it'll close the window that I'm in so this is going to close that window up there and now we just have the readme and init.l so let's go back over to here let's split that again let's go to the I don't know, let's go to the messages. I don't know, just some other buffer that's here. Um, I usually don't use control XO. I almost always use control X1. I go into the window I want and then I close everything else. Um, now there are a couple of modes. Let's go into, whoops, let's, uh, let's go back to here. Let's go to the scratch buffer. Um, where I can just type, just a little temporary buffer. Um, so there are a couple of modes that people uh, some people like using to make uh, working with buffers windows rather a little bit easier one of them is winner mode so I'm just going to type winner mode one to turn that on and control X E to execute that um, that e list and winner mode is built in you could just put this line this little one line uh, e list function into your init.el and what it lets you do is it remembers your um, your window buffer configuration and so you can type control c and then the left arrow or the right arrow the left arrow kind of undoes a windowing instruction and the right arrow redoes so control um, c left control c left um, no other configuration undo. Okay, so it's not really, I don't use this anyway. So let's actually go now. Now that winter mode is on, let's go to one. Let's split. Let's split. So now after winter mode has been turned on, now we have these things that we can undo. So control C left, control C left, control C right, control C right. And this lets us undo and redo window things. Um, 
to kind of if we if we end up losing our window state if we set this up in a really nice way where sometimes what I like doing if I'm editing code I might like having my main code here and some other stuff here or I may have um, you can also click notice to click on the windows yeah I have my main code here I might be running something down here I might be doing something else up here somehow or other that gets out of whack and then I can use winner mode to go back to my configuration again I usually don't like using that um, I, I just never bothered a lot of people like it you should check it out um, there are other window state management tools if you check out Melpa um, so let me move on to another one that I don't like using but a lot of people like using which is um, wind move which is a way of moving between windows so if we say wind move default key bindings run that now, if I just hold the shift and the arrow key, where am I here? Ah, make sure I'm in Emacs to begin with. Well, that's supposed to do it. Uh, let me tell you. wind move default bindings, run that. Okay, so now I must hit the wrong key. Uh, shift up, shift down, shift up, shift left, shift uh, shift down, didn't do anything because there is no down there. Oh, actually it did, it moved me to that mini buffer underneath, shift up. So I can use the arrow keys to move around. Um, again, I don't like using this per se. This is not my favorite way of moving between windows. Um, I like using a package called Ace Windows, which is really, really cool. And so let's set that up and I'll show you how that works. So let me, one window, let me load init.l. Let's go down to the bottom and let's put together Ace Windows. So uh, first, every now and then you might try installing something and it says I can't find the package. Um, sometimes you have to refresh the package list. So if you do escape X, package, refresh, contents and um, hit enter. That'll update your package, uh, your package list from Melpa in this case, uh, and then things will work right. So let's use package, ace window, we'll ensure, true, make sure it's installed. And this is a little different what I'm doing here. I'm doing prog n um, for the configuration to initialize this or to configure this, um, and you could use either one. Uh, prog n instead of what we did before, which was just um, typing in a single instruction, that's because ultimately I'm going to put two instructions here, and if you have more than one, you have to enclose it in this prog n function. Um, so the first one we're going to do is global set key, remap other window to be ace window. And so what that's going to say is it's going to say um, use ace window instead of other window, misspelled that, so window. Um, so whenever I type control XO, which is the other window key, it's going to use ace window instead. So let's save this. Whoops, let me run the command. So um, it's now running it. It says we save our file. Yes, everything is good. And at this point, ace window should be running. So let's make two windows. And right now, Control XO just goes between windows. But let's split this guy here, and now Control XO, and you'll notice up on each window in the corner, there's one, two, and three, and I can jump to whichever window I want by hitting a key. Let's split this again. Control XO, one, two, one, two, three, four. If I want to go up to here, just type in one, and then I can just make that the only window. And that's just, it's just a really nice, um, I, I just like that way of um, moving through windows. So I'm going to do one other thing here. I copied this already. Um, and this is basically just uh, setting a font face um, for Ace Windows. So don't worry about that. And I'm just going to check my parentheses there everything is good so let's just run that one guy here and what that does is it just uh, makes the height three it makes the window the um, the character a little bit bigger uh, to make it stand out so that's ace window it's really cool I like it a lot um, I'm just gonna mention one other thing about windows which is Emacs also has this concept of frames and a frame is actually if you want another window manager style window these are both the same emacs you'll see that if um if i type in a character here sss you know it appears um 
Control X5, one. Now we're back to one. Um, I use frames a little bit. Uh, we may cover them a little bit later. I just wanted to show they're there. Um, the basic idea for frames, it's Control X5, and then it's kind of the same keys as for Windows. So anyway, um, Ace Window, it's really cool. I like it a lot. We're gonna save that, and we'll push that up. Um, use Windows, use buffers. Um, force yourself to use them, um, so you can just have one Emacs loaded with all sorts of cool stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Please leave comments, questions, alternates. If you have another way of getting around Windows, please leave a comment on the blog um, so that the people who are ultimately viewing this and learning from this can see that there are a lot of great ways to do things. Um, this is just the way I like it. Next time we'll start talking about navigating uh, within Emacs um, and getting around efficiently. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoy this and uh, thanks for watching.